Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Nuki, and I'm going to be telling you guys how to uh, create your own map today. Um, I'll be doing it very step by step because this does take a little while. Um, and I'll try to be setting you up with the right map size. It's the same as the island. Uh, you can adjust it um, differently, but be careful if you're going to do so because I'm not sure exactly how um, compatible it will be. I, be. I think it'll be fine, I'm just not sure. So to start off, we're just going to click on uh, File, then New Level, then you're going to click on the one on the left. I kind of zoomed through it a little quickly there, but uh, it's right here, new level, and it's right here. All right, then we're going to get this, um, which will be not what we want, so we're just going to go ahead and click on that, which will be the SM template mat floor, delete it. You're going to click on the player start, delete it. You don't really have to do that, but, you know, might as well. All right, and then we're going to go to uh, landscape, then we're going to go to, we're going to make this a little bigger, easier to see, because we've been working with this mostly. And we're going to pick, make the section size 127 by 127. We're going to make the sections per component 2 by 2. And we're going to make the number of components, which by the way, this has already gotten massive. Um, we're going to make the number of components 27 by 27. I believe that's the size of the island, um, which is the map for ARC. But as, it looks kind of small from up here, but when we compare it to our original size of like that or something. It's pretty huge. Alright, and don't mess with the overall resolution. I mean, that scales with this. So, um, you'll screw something up if you mess with that, I think. But I'm not positive. And then we're going to make the material uh, mat underscore the island with mass underscore instant and click on that, it's going to take a second for it to load up here. Alright, we've got that done, so we're going to go ahead and create our world. Takes a moment. Because it's kind of a big map, just think about the scale of the island when it's first being generated. It's pretty big. All right, and you have this nice looking black surface, and you're done. No, I'm just kidding. We got a lot more to do. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the details of the landscape. We're going to click on landscape, and then we're going to click on details here. Um, and then we're going to go through and adjust some stuff. We're going to make the max LOD 4. Cast static shadow. Nope. Uh, landscape whole material. We're going to make it mat underscore the island with mask underscore whole underscore inst. There we go. And then we're going to go to collision, make that ground. You have to kind of find it, it's right here. But uh, that'll make it to where it's like it registers this as the ground. Um, I always hate it when this little yellow box shows up. So if you right-click off the, of the off of that and then click back over, it doesn't show anymore. Just so you know. And then we're gonna go to tag. Where is it? Tags. We're gonna add a new one, and we're gonna make it landscape. All right. So then that's pretty much it. That's it for um, setting for your island. There's one more important thing we're going to want to do um, before we get into the painting of it so it doesn't look like a giant black surface. And we're going to go to game. Make sure you're looking, searching the whole game for dirt plane. Oh, not finding it. That's... Let's see if I just search dirt. Okay. I'm not sure why it's not popping up. Huh. Should be. Here we go. Dirt plane, no hole. Static mesh. I'm not sure why it wasn't pop. Oh, it's dirt underscore. Okay, it's dirt underscore plane. There we go. It's right here. 
We're going to drag this in, and you can see it pop up over here. And then you're going to want to go to uh, click where it says Place, so you can actually adjust these things, because when we're in this mode, you can't actually adjust most of these things on the right, um, which I had a little bit of an issue with at first. And we're going to click on that, and we're going to change the settings on this one, under Details. We're going to go Location, 0, 0, 100. That's what I found that worked for me. Rotation, 180. Well, negative 180. Should be fun. Um, and then 70,000 by 70,000. There we go. So this is your like your little dirt plane for when like you're looking out to the ocean. You see this gigantic. Um, this is exactly what it looks like with a little bit of an ocean tint. But uh, that's exactly what it looks like outside your map. So that'll be basically just kind of like. So when you're staring off into space, you're not looking off the edge of a cliff. Instead, you're looking at like a dirt plane. Or if you manage to glitch out of the world somehow, you're looking at a dirt plane rather than looking at nothingness forever. All right, now we've gotten that set up. It's going to be zero. Oh, actually, that looks weird. I'm going to put it back to one. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what could have possibly happened there, but I'll leave it there. All right, and that should be it for this. Yeah. All right. You know what? Let's make this location for the dirt plane uh, 50. So I don't want it overlapping my tile. My gigantic black thing. All right, that's fine. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is go back to landscape. Um, oop, it's still over it. All right, let's just make it the dirt plane zero. Once you get done um, with the map, you may want to adjust this back to a different value. But uh, for the time being, I don't want it kind of overlaying. Or maybe that's just doing that before I paint it. We'll find out. So I'm going to paint it, I'm going to go to, sh like these are all your painting things here and your tool strength, brush size, make the brush size pretty big. Um, it can get very laggy when doing this, and we're, we're going to click here, click shared grass, paint, see if it still has that graphical glitch when I zoom out, it does, huh. Changes back to zero, as I originally thought, still doing it, what's going on? I'm going to make this negative 100. Negative 1,000. Well, 10,000. There, doesn't seem to be doing it now. Not sure why. Well, it's a pretty big space. Okay, well, that's fine for now. We'll leave it there. We'll adjust it later. But uh, you're going to have to paint this whole thing so you can kind of like just see what's going on. You can paint it whatever you'd like. There's a lot of options here, presets. You can obviously make your own as well. But uh, you can each one of these, you can just click on one of the presets. There's sometimes there's multiple presets, sometimes there's only one. Um, when you're first painting the entire thing your first time, um, I would probably suggest you either paint it the, uh, the color of the ocean or the color of the uh, of grass, um, just depending on what exactly you're going for in a map. Um, I believe beach sand wet is your uh, typical paint for the ocean. Yeah, that looks about right for the underside of the ocean. Uh, and there's going to be shaders that have to compile and that may take you quite a while depending on your um specs and like you can you can't just drag and like pull this around or else it's going to lag the living hell out of you. So um what I usually do is I just make it as big as I can and then I just kind of dot it everywhere because it's still loading and it's just kind of a pain in the butt. But anyways guys, that's it for uh this little uh, tutorial on how to get your map kind of set up. But uh you're going to want to paint this whole thing but uh, once you guys do, um, go ahead and get to the next video um, so we can kind of go ahead and get started on that. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more, and uh, check out the next video for the next step.